Staining and finishing. Arguably, that's probably one of the least favorite thing for every woodworker to do. But to get awesome projects and awesome finished looking projects, you've got to take the time to do your finishing right. And so today I wanted to show you my setup for painting, staining, clear coating, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna show you the actual techniques. I'm just gonna show you my setup for how I move things through my shop fast in a small space. This is my baker's rack, drying rack, whatever you want to call it. I built this to suit my needs. This is far from an original design. I don't have plans for it, but I will show you how I made it. Um, I just copied the features and things I like from what I saw others do online. So everything in my shop is built on a modular system. I've done several videos over that. I'll link to them in the description. Here's a modular shop cabinet. Everything fits in those drawers, that footprint. This footprint is 18 by 40. I wanted to stick with that just to make my life easier. If you can stick with the system, the better. I then took some off cuts and glued and nailed them on and made a little tower. The tower is about 65 inches. I didn't want to go any taller than that because you can see my paint booth drop downs kind of hit. I've got, you know, garage door motors, all that kind of stuff in the way. So I didn't want to, you know, have it all the way to the ceiling where I couldn't reach. Um, this will hold, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so 16 doors um and drawer faces obviously here i could probably double stack them uh too deep if i needed to um, i also made it this area a little bit deeper so i could fit um a drawer on here if i just needed to stack stuff up of the way this will hold a standard kitchen uh cabinet top drawer you can see i spaced these out a little bit and to show you how well the glue held I built it with everything about two and a half inches apart. And then I decided like, oh wait, I want some extra room here to hold bigger things. And I knocked that out and you can see where I scored it and then broke it away. And you can see here how it just destroyed the plywood breaking that off. So this is just glue and some 18 gauge brad nails and it will hold the weight of this just fine. We're not overloading it. So that's my new little drying rack that I made. And it saves so much room in the shop to be able to just stack all this stuff up vertically instead of having to spread out a big area to stain and wait for everything to dry. Then I made this little Lazy Susan. You can see it's all dirty now. But I also made this Lazy Susan to fit within my modular cabinet system. So I'm going to cut away to that and show you how that works. So that was pretty cool how it just slides into my modular cabinets. I can store it out of the way. I might put a hook on the side of this and hang it depending on where I have room for it. Um, it's just sticking with that system makes my life e easier. So now I'm gonna close out this video and then cut away to about a minute and a half clip of me actually using this setup in this area with you know all my spray gear on, all that kind of stuff. I hope you found some value in this video. Always open for ideas, tips, and tricks. And yes, I was spraying my stain uh, with HVLP. Spray it, wipe it, um, and I was just using Minwax Jacobean or Jacobian. I've heard it said two different ways. I'm not sure which is the right uh, pronunciation, but I think Jacobean is the right pronunciation. Who knows? Um, someone, there's the internet. Someone always knows the answer, right? Um, so if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Appreciate it if I've earned your subscription. And uh, we're gonna fade out to the quick little how all of this works together for super fast finishing. And that minute and a clip, minute and a half clip that you're about to watch is about nine minutes compressed into uh, that amount of space, if that makes sense. So all of that, I was able to do 
one, two, three, four, five, six uh, doors and drawer fronts in about 10 minutes, which if I had to set up a big area, would have taken way longer than that. So hope you like it.